No. No, it's always the same question. No, I know, but like people do nope, that. I'm sorry. I'm done. Goodbye. Answer. No. So the inspiration of the song, um, I knew that going into this fall winter season that I just, I really wanted a song that really showed what, what true love was all about. It's, it's finding that person and just, you know, doing life with them. Um, it's finding that love and just growing old with them. I think that that's what love is all about. And uh, I think it's kind of the perfect song going into this, this season. And uh, hopefully maybe we'll be doing like a, a Christmas version of it or something. That'd be cool. And you can't go to change. So the songwriting process for this one um, was kind of the same as, as all the songs that I write. Um, really it just consisted of, and, and most of the songs that I write, consists of just me sitting in my room with my acoustic guitar and just kind of singing along and, and grabbing an, an idea and going with it. But this one in particular was kind of, kind of different because the idea came from me after a TikTok that I saw of uh, these two old people sitting in a restaurant and blowing paper straws at each other. And I just thought to myself, oh my gosh, this is the greatest, cutest thing that I've ever seen. And uh, so I just ran with that idea. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So if I could have somebody feature on this song, um, it would definitely have to be Ed Sheeran. Um, I think that this song definitely has kind of like a country Ed Sheeran vibe. and. Ed, if you're watching this, text me or something. That would be that would be really cool. But um, yeah, that's definitely what we were trying to go for with the song. Just that good sort of ballad song to go into the season, and uh, I think it turned out really nice. And honey, I can be. So we came up with the music video story, uh, kind of kind of as a two, a two man team here. Um, so I basically kind of know the vision that I have with each song and basically what I do is I bring that to Daniel and Daniel is that guy that says, okay, I love what you're doing, but here's how we make it better. And um, we were blessed to have um, two friends of ours um, be a part of this project and um, I'm, I'm really excited of, uh, of how it turned out, so. So my favorite line of the song uh, would have to be Honey, I can be your religion when your knees start to hurt and you can't go to church. Um, it took me a while to kind of come up with that line, but once a day I was like, Matt, you are a genius. Like, um, just that kind of thing with religion and then like your knees hitting the bed, but like getting old, I don't know, I just thought it was really cool. But I'll be right here. Ah, what's next? So, um, well, first off, I'm getting a lot of questions about the Taylor Swift song, and um, I'm happy to let you guys know that Taylor Swift will be the next song on my debut album, Vintage. Um, so that'll be a really fun one. Um, for Grow Old, I'd love to do like a Christmas version. I think it'd be like really cool to get somebody feature on it and uh, turn it into some sort of Christmas song. Um, I think that would be pretty, pretty special. Seriously? No, no, no. We're not. We're not doing this again. No. No. It's always the same question. No, I know, but like people do nope. I'm sorry. I'm done. But why Goodbye. Can't you answer. No. You just, that's, no. Uh, but do you have a girlfriend? No, it's, not, it's not none of your business. Why can't you just answer? No. Nope. Whatever. Can we at least get her name? No. I'll be right here, baby. I'm growing up.